thank you for, for coming out in uh, what is again another uh, spring concert. The year has already come and gone so quickly. Um, and here we have another batch of seniors about to graduate. We've been all emotional for about a week now. Um, is it me or is it always something when it comes to the choir concert? The weather issue. You can bank on us having some kind of a weather catastrophe. Like I'm gonna call, you know, Rich Luderman and be like, hey Rich, there's gonna be a snowstorm about December 12th next year. That's our concert, okay? Just bank on it. I'm better than Doppler Radar. So, um, <laughs> We will, uh, we will obviously do our best. Hopefully there's, there's no uh, weather catastrophes while we're performing tonight. And thank you for coming out. I would um, please welcome you to now turn off any cell phones or pagers that you may have or possibly double check them. They happen to be very, very distracting to our singers. Also, ladies and gents, um, some of my favorite people in the world are the little ones. But if one of the little ones is having a, a little rough time, please just take them out to the lobby until they calm down so that everyone can enjoy the performance. The students have worked very hard. Um, I'd like to invite out our first uh, act tonight. We have, uh, oh, before I do that, I'd like to let you know who the, the young performers were out here who made a little pre-concert performance. Um, that was an octet, actually, that uh, they formed themselves, they taught themselves their own music, um, and they came out to perform. They uh, got a one at district, uh, what was it, solo and ensemble, as well as a one at state solo and ensemble this year, so they wanted to share what they've been working on this year. So please welcome with me now um, our first player today, Men's Vocal Theory. <laughs>
actually are part of the African Drumming Ensemble here. They just had their concert last Thursday. Um, and they're also one of the members of the choir program, so they're multifaceted that way musically. Um, so I had them come out and play um, the drums for us tonight as our transition music. Um, the lovely young ladies that you see before you are women's vocal theory. Um, this, this, along with men's vocal theory, is kind of a kind of a starting ground for the students in the choir program. Some people have been on stage before. Many of the young women and men that you saw um, on stage before you had not really been on, con uh, on stage for a concert except earlier this year. So this is one of the first times that they've ever performed this evening. Um, yeah, let's get going. <laughs>
You'll see also that many of the drummers uh, are also in this choir. Um, again, multi-talented. Um, this is women's ensemble. Uh, this group has had quite a year. Um, they have uh, performed out in the community um, at various events, as well as had a really productive year at solo and ensemble and also the festivals. Uh, this group was awarded a superior rating at the district festival, which also gave us the opportunity to perform at the state level. Um, the, three, the first three pieces that we will hear are actually three pieces that we performed at the state level um, just about a month ago. Um, the third piece in the set is called Kotaru Koi. It's not very often that you get to hear choral music that's set in Japanese. So um, it is in your program, and the translation is actually pretty hilarious. So if you have a moment <laughs> to read it, um, it's it's whole, uh, what is it? Firefly. Oh,
when we went to states with Hotel Report, um, these young ladies, I have never been more proud um, of them in my life. They're, um, these young ladies had only had a piece together for a while. I don't even know if it was together before we took it to states. And um, when we got on stage, um, it's, it's a difficult piece of music. When we got on stage, we were a little nervous. And about five measures into it, it kind of fell to pieces. And everybody in the audience, you could just hear this complete silence going, oh, the the states. They should be built, you know, and they should be hanged. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those situations where you don't know what to do at first. These ladies. <laughs> <laughs> These ladies recovered that the Hotel Rikoi was their first song in States, and it fell apart. Their first song. And they picked up the pieces and they gave one high of performance. They came out with a very, very high tune, which is practically unheard of. The only reason, and I, I spoke with some of the judges afterwards, and he gave it to me on his good authority, in his opinion, the only reason that they did not receive a one is because it was impossible for them to give them a one after they fell apart once. So, um, and man, they nailed it. Tonight, and they came <laughs> back. So, um, the last piece that we're going to perform is from the movie Chicago. So if you've ever seen that movie, we're going to try and tone it down. Just a touch. I'm going to keep my job at home. So, um,
supposed to introduce you. Um, this is our concert choir. Um, they have uh, they have also had a very successful year this year, um, both going to district festival and to state festival. And this is the group also where the octet that performed uh, earlier today is from. You'll notice them up there among the masses. Um, the octet actually received one as a district uh, solo ensemble and uh, had the opportunity to go to state and perform, where they also received one. Uh, this particular choir also received, uh, the whole choir received ones at the district festival, uh, much like women's ensemble, and also got the opportunity to perform at the state solo, and, I'm sorry, at state festival. Um, this group also did very well, and there was very uh, high two ratings, which is very phenomenal at the state level. This is also an audition group, one of two, uh, the other one was women's ensemble. Uh, so these, these young people have uh, all auditioned to be on stage in front of you tonight, and many, many veteran singers. Um, there are a couple who have actually just begun the choir program this year. Would you raise your hands for the very first year in choir? That's actually absolutely phenomenal to be in this group and have first year song. <laughs> being their last concert. A few of them have been in for a couple years as well. Um, they have been absolutely unforgettable um, through the years, helping their peers and helping, uh, especially in their older years through the choir program, helping, uh, helping the people who have just started out in the choir program. Um, our first three pieces on the choir concert, or on the concert, this part of the concert tonight, are going to be the three pieces that we featured at State Festival um, just about a month ago. Hands me. 
large rock, shout, shout. The large rock coming up, Lord. The large rock, shout, shout. The large rock coming up, Lord. The large rock, shout, shout. Shout, shout, Elijah Rock coming up, Lord. Elijah Rock, shout, shout, Elijah Rock coming up, Lord. Elijah. Do not stand at my grave and 
about the next group of gentlemen coming before you. Um, earlier this year, a small group of guys showed interest in starting. I'm all up in everywhere they want to be. Sorry. Okay. A um, small group of guys actually came up to me um, at a board meeting and were interested in starting an all men's ensemble, uh, unrelated to the men's vocal theory and also unrelated to concert choir. The guys that you see up here are both in concert choir, men's vocal theory, and also several men who have not ever sung in this choir program before. They just had the interest and the drive. So here they are. Um, we tried to get a little bit more down to earth, a little bit more funky, and a little bit more, you know, not like all dead people who wrote music, you know, something that's still alive and functioning in our society. Um, so these guys are gonna put on uh, two pieces for you. Duke of Earl is going to be first, and then um, Pretty Woman. Right? Right? Oh, 
And then we're going to welcome a first-time conductor to the stage. She is actually a member of our women's ensemble. Um, and Miss Moni Steffens will be conducting the last piece, um, He Never Failed Me Yet, featuring two soloists, Renee Colbert and Courtney Smith. <laughs> By the way, ladies, use the microphones. <laughs> we couldn't hear the soloists.